Well, we're interrupting uh, Brock Burton's relaxation time here. We got him off the four-wheeler for a quick interview. Brock, uh, good to have you back out here at Brownstown. You've run here a lot this year. Uh, a little bit of closer to home kind of deal? or? Yeah, it's definitely one of those things with uh, Dad getting the car ready and that kind of thing and me working on the weekends trying to pack as many overtime hours as we can for, you know, a little bit of extra income. It's just it's a lot easier to get down here since it's only about 45 minutes away from the house versus, you know, traveling an hour or two hours every night one way to the racetrack. Uh, the uh, the two star. What made you come up with that number this year? I've seen you have a few numbers on here, but two star. Where'd that come from? Uh, actually, it started out. We were running zero in the sprint car, and we got out of the sprint car deal and decided to take a step back in the racing and do the modified deal because it was a little more affordable. Um, we we looked, and there was about four or five cars that were running zero at the time. So I was just trying to find something that was a little different, and I. I started looking, and when I was younger growing up, one of my, my big idols was Dale Earnhardt, obviously, in the NASCAR deal. And I got to looking at pictures and found it where he was running. Um, I can't remember whose car it was right off the top of my head now, but it was the Wrangler car with the number two on it. And that's where the two came from, and then there was a couple of two cars around, and I didn't want to put a B behind it or an X behind it. So I figured the star was just a little different. If Chubb Frank can do it, you can do it, right? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, Chubbzilla, Brockzilla, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> hey, that it works, right? We give that. So you just coined yourself a new nickname right there. There you go. Never had one of those before, so that should be pretty interesting. Tell us a little bit about your cars. What's uh, what kind of car you're running this year, and uh, who you got helping you? This is a 2012 Bandit car that we bought brand new in 2012. Um, Brian Barber's been a huge help with our racing program, coming back to the modified deal. Um, my dad obviously owns the car. My grandfather owns the engines. I own all the suspension pieces. It's a definite, complete family operation. It always has been. Um, we've got some help from CMT, Central Marketing Transport, um, Riders Overhead Garage Door, Williams Vinyl, um, Travis Kern Racing Engines. I mean, everybody helps us out just a little bit here and there, and it makes this deal all possible. Well, tell us about Renegade Custom Suspensions. You're pretty, uh, pretty big on that one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my business. I started that back in 2006. We finally got going in 2007, started doing sprint car stuff for myself and some other guys, and then um, had was approached by a local driver, Richie Lex. He came to me and wanted me to build some stuff for him. He was the only person that talked to me. And that was really the, the deal that got me going in the modified direction with the, the shock stuff. And um, I built some shocks for Devin Gilpin when he won his first national championship. Uh, we had Devon National Championship, a couple of state championships that first year. Um, you know, we just had a lot of luck. I think we had four track championships that season between the street stocks and the modifieds um, and one sprint car track championship. So we had a lot of luck and that kind of thing. Um, and just it's kind of built from there. I think I've got probably close to 60 clients out there, you know, doing the local racing thing. And Can you name drop some of them right now? I was going to ask you, who are some of your clients? Uh, I've done some work for uh, Greg Amick. I've done some work for Devin Gilpin on the side. Uh, done some work for Richie Lex, Richie Lex on the side. Um, Troy Clark, uh, Randy Petro. Uh, the list goes on and on. I just I can't really name Seems too many like a more. List of winners right now. Yeah, for the most part, we've been lucky enough that I've had some good connections throughout the years. My dad used to race down here all the time, and a lot of those guys that he's known and I've known my whole life growing up. When I started this deal, they came to me and. You know, they wanted some work done from somebody that they knew and somebody they could trust, and I feel like I've been able to provide a quality product to those guys. You know, we do the Bilstein stuff, um, and they've been pretty happy so far. Your dad's got some wins here. How would it feel for you to be in victory lane here at Brownstown? That is one place I've never been able to, to get the job done is here at <laughs> Brownstown. I've come really, really close several times and just never been able to finish it off. It'd be a huge deal to, you know, finally end up in victory circle down here at Brownstown. Anybody else you want to give thanks to before we head off? I just got to thank God, man. Without him, none of this would be possible. My wife and my daughter. All right, Brock Burton here in the pits of Brownstown running the two-star modified. Thanks.